Imperial County is one of the most polluted regions in the state. California Breathing, supported by the California Department of Public Health, estimates children here have asthma-related ER visits at a rate almost three times higher than the state average. But that means that there is a responsibility to, to learn about asthma. Asthma was one of the many environmental health issues discussed at the 6th Annual Environmental Health and Leadership Summit. The day-long event was held at Brawley Union High School. Luis Almedo was executive director of Comité Civico de Valle, the organization hosting the event. We have today elected officials, we have students, we have teachers, we have healthcare providers, uh, we have regulators. This annual summit offers a venue to collaboratively address ways of solving these problems in this community and in other communities facing similar environmental justice issues. Environmental justice uh, means the fair treatment of our communities, the fair implementation of laws, you know, the equitable distribution of natural resources. Many groups and organizations had information booths to help get the word out about environmental issues and the services they offer. This is a strong, engaged community. Presentations, workshops, and questions and answer sessions covered many topics, including asthma, pesticides, community engagement, and government regulations. You know, the IVAN program has changed over time. Identifying violations affecting neighborhoods, or IVAN for short, was a featured topic here at the summit. It's a community-based environmental reporting tool that was created by Comité Civico de Valle, along with the help of the Department of Toxic Substances Control. In the past, uh, agencies might have sort of one-off uh, interactions, but it's a very one-way flow of communication. With IVIN, it's a two-way flow, so you can report a problem and now you get to hear what is the agency's response, what are they doing or are they not doing enough. The IVIN program was started in the mid-2000s here in the Imperial Valley. It's now grown to seven programs across California. Well, more than anything, thank you for the work that you're doing as it relates to environmental justice issues in California. Some time was spent highlighting legislation that was recently signed into law by the governor. Air monitoring systems that would be put forward on the uh, Calexico border and making sure that we're able to quantify the emissions. Another policy going into effect this year is the Supplemental Environmental Projects Bill. They're projects that um, are bringing a percentage of the fines and penalties from civil and administrative actions um, to enforcement actions back to the community. The event was also a time to celebrate culture. There were performances from the local group Mariachi Mixteco and the Brawley Union High School Folklorio Club. These environmental health leadership summits are an opportunity to re-energize, to uh, uh, recommit to improving the quality of life in our community.